This is gonna be the most awesome video from our course. We have a full Amazon course, and this is gonna be a Jungle Scout video from the course, and it's gonna be super cool. So let's just get straight into it. What is Jungle Scout? So Jungle Scout is a Chrome plugin that helps you find products on Amazon. So if you've always wanted to start an Amazon business but you have no idea what to sell, Jungle Scout is the tool that you wanna be using. We personally use Jungle Scout every single day to find different products. So in this video, I'm actually gonna show you exactly how to use Jungle Scout. There are two types of Jungle Scout products. There is the web app and there is the Chrome extension. You could just use the Chrome extension. Now I'm gonna make this video for the US market. And you can see here, you've got marketplace and you can go for the US. Canada, or Germany, or Spain, or any of them, United Kingdom. This For this video, I'm gonna do the US. It's very, very similar to the UK. However, the only difference are what you put in here, the price, the rank, the estimated sales. And the reason for that is because the US has a much larger market size, and some people say it's much harder to compete in. So you're gonna to have to put some different results in in order to make sure you find a decent product. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start in the product database. And if you just have the Chrome extension, the product database is not something you'll have access to. However, you generally get about 10 or 20 searches with the product database. So you'll get like a free trial with the product database, which I highly recommend you use because it's really, really cool. But remember, you don't need to use this part. It's not that important. The Chrome extension will get you very, very far. And we're gonna go into the Chrome extension a bit later on. So product database, what is this and how can we make this work for us? So what we're gonna start by doing is selecting the marketplace. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to select some certain categories that we want to look for products in. So we've got beauty and personal care, um, health and household, home and kitchen, um, office products, patio lawn garden, pet supplies, sports and outdoors, you could copy the exact ones that I'm taking here and it will be fine. The next we wanna do is a price. So we're in America at the moment, so we're not doing this for the UK, we're doing this for the US. So we wanna say a price between 15 and $40. We want the rank to be no more than, let's say 2,500. It can obviously be one. Estimated sales, we want a minimum of 400 sales. We're gonna leave out estimated revenue and I'm gonna explain why a bit later on in the video. For reviews, we want them to be a maximum of 250 reviews, slightly more than the UK, only because the market is much, much bigger. So it's much easier for you to compete in if there are a lot of people. We're gonna leave the weight, uh, we're gonna leave the rating. The weight is gonna be, let's put that at one pound. Number of sellers, doesn't matter. Listing quality, doesn't matter. Again, we've got product here, we're gonna leave this, and seller, we're gonna do fulfilled by Amazon. We don't wanna put any keywords in, we don't wanna exclude any keywords. Let's put that to 100, and let's click search. So, from there you're gonna to see tons of different product ideas that you could potentially go into. These are the basic criterias of what you need to find a decent product. There are obviously a lot more criteria that you have to um, follow in order to find a really, really, really successful product. But this is just the base of what you need. We cover many more criteria in the course, but I'm not gonna worry about those now. We're just gonna talk about what Jungle Scout's able to offer us. So we can see we've got this the grill, we've got these shorts, we've got a lot of shorts, we've got water bottle, that's not a bad product idea. So what we want to do is we want to write down two to three different products and we're going to take those products and search them in Amazon. So let's write down two to three different products. So the first product that we've come across, which we seem to like, is the five pack men's bio climbing drywall. This is a big word. Let's just say hiking performance socks. So we're going to write down hiking performance socks. And I'm actually writing this down because you're going to see why later in the video. Hiking socks, that's one idea. We need two more ideas. 
let's keep going through the pages until we find two more ideas. We have over here microfiber all-purpose beach towels. I'm going to put that down. Um, microfiber beach towel. Now the reason I'm selecting certain products over other products is because I'm also thinking of other criteria such as how light is this product, how small is this product, because there are many other criteria to consider. Now I know these criteria because I've been selling on Amazon for a while. If you've never sold on Amazon and you just want to get started, these sort of criteria that I know in my head, Jungle Scout aren't going to be able to help you with. However, um, however, we cover all of this sort of stuff in the course. But forgetting about the course for the moment, the reason I selected, for example, um, beach towel as one of the items is because I know it's very light, so it's cheap to ship. It's very small, it can fold up very, very small, so our FBA fees won't be so much. And it doesn't seem like an expensive product to actually source. However, if you look here, they're selling it for $20, and you can see how light it is. We have one more product to find to write down on our list, and then we can get started using the Chrome extension tool. Okay, the third and final product we're gonna, we're gonna write down are gonna be ski gloves, because again, they are light, they look cheap to source, they can be sold for quite a bit of money, and it's definitely something we can go into. They'll be cheap to ship. So we now have our three products. We have hiking socks, microfiber beach towel, and ski gloves. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go into amazon.com. Now that we're in Amazon, what we're going to do is we're going to search each product. And we wanna make sure we search under all departments. So let's search for the first one hiking socks <clears throat> these are all the hiking socks on Amazon now this might look a bit overwhelming there are tons of different products here what are you looking for well this is where the Chrome extension for um, Jungle Scout comes in we can see it's this little tab over here and all we have to do is click it and it will give us all the information on this specific keyword this specific product hiking socks so rather than giving us information on tons and tons of different products, right? So this gives us a bit of information on a particular product. When we search for it in Amazon, it goes deep, deep, deep into the product, into one specific product. So we can see the information for all of these different products over here. So we're gonna go through this and actually talk about each individual tab here. You see all these different tabs. We're gonna discuss this and what it actually means and what's good and what's bad. So if you remember, we, we put in for the criteria to get 400 minimum monthly sales. And you can see that this says 1,424, which is really, really crazy. And you may be thinking, well, how could Jungle Scout possibly know the sales? And to be honest, that's exactly what I thought at first. I was so skeptical. I was like, how could they know the sales? But I searched for my product in here and they got the sales so close. They were like, maybe 20 sales off because you can see it says individual sales every month right and they got our product within literally 20 sales off and we searched for multiple different um, products that we sell and they were very very close so I don't know how they do it but it really surprised us and we really liked it so um, this is quite accurate this is quite accurate the average sales rank okay so the average sales rank we said two and a half thousand so this is over two and a half thousand however if we go into individual products here because this all of these products here is what we're seeing on the listing over here so if we go into individual products we can see the rank is 551 781 858 1800 479 so basically we want maybe 10 or 15 products on the first page to make up the average. So if you think about it, we're probably there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight. We've got eight products that are under the the um, BSR that we want and, a f and, and some that are just over. So in a over average, we're probably looking at that's, that's not so bad. Now the average sales price, we said, what did we say? We said 15, no, sorry, we said between 10 and 40, didn't we? So we said, oh no, we, didn't. we said between, 
we said between 15 and 40 and this is 1785 so that that's fine that's that's it's on the lower spectrum but it's still okay and the average review so the average re reviews is where there is a problem here because 643 is very very high and if we look at the first few we've got this guy has got 5000 over 5000 so this person is killing it he's going to be at the number 1 spot for pre forever you can see his revenue is 122000 now revenue i don't know how accurate revenue is um, it seems if the sales are accurate then the revenue would be accurate because obviously it's just times by the sales price um, but let's go on to the next person so this person has 500 or just over 500 reviews just over 600 over 400 this is where it starts to become um, okay 129 reviews 224 80 124 74 so what i would say is there is a lot of competition here in terms of ranking for the number one spot and even the number two and the number three spot it's definitely possible to get onto the first page for this product based on um, the bsr of the demand and based on the different competition and for example even if you're selling eight even if your reviews are 80 and this guy has a rank of fifteen thousand. He's still bringing in 200 sales a month and raking in just under five thousand dollars which is which is absolutely fine this guy's doing over ten thousand dollars so in terms of this product this is actually not such a bad product and to find this product on video is pretty cool i did not expect to do that um so this is actually quite a good product so you're starting to see the power of this this tool and how it can speed it up now you can do all of this manually but it takes a very very long time and this tool pretty much just speeds up the entire process which is what we want we want to be able to find a product nice and quickly and go into it nice and quickly so let's look at the other products as well that we've searched for so we've got um so let's go for ski gloves we'll do one more i know we wrote down three but let's just do one more okay so ski gloves has has shown up We've got a lot of different ski gloves so again we want to go over here and click the jungle scout tool and it will do all its magic searching and it will give us the information on all the different products and we can go through and see if this product is, is, is good okay so again we have huge monthly sales here for over 1400 monthly sales so that's that's brilliant that's great we have a much higher um, average sales rank. It means it's not as in demand as um, the hiking socks we just found. And it probably isn't um, as in demand as many other products that we're going to be able to find. The average price, again, is on the lower spectrum. And this is really on the lower spectrum. This is just over $15 or just under $16. So this, I mean, it's still okay to go for something at this price, but it is on the lower spectrum. The average reviews is much, much better though. Look at that. So the number one spot, he only has 89 reviews and he's selling it for 19.95. That is huge. That is amazing. And his rank is 1,637. And they they estimate that he's making 32,000 revenue a month. This is big. This is very big because to get 89 reviews is easy. And to get to a sales rank of 1,637 is also super, super easy. And if he's charging this much, then he's $5 over our minimum, which is perfect. You then got this guy, 118 reviews, 48 reviews, 120 reviews. The only person that really stands out to me is this guy with 1,942 reviews. And you can see he's bringing in, um, well, yeah, he's bringing in the most amount of money, 40, just under 50,000. This person's very close to him, but he's also got a lot of reviews. So what this product tells me is that I can definitely get onto the number one page. Easily I can get onto the number one page, just because of the um, the reviews. There's not that many reviews. Um, and I could probably even get into the top three spots. I could probably even break the top spot very, very easily. The only thing that worries me is the demand. So you see demand via the sales rank. And remember what we said, we want about 10 to average under two and a half thousand however if we look here this has got over 1500 this is over a thousand this is so these are under two and a half thousand but you've got some really crazy ones here you've got 51,000 11,000 100,000 so you've got to think to yourself what are these people doing wrong 43,000 so with this type of product 
I would I would definitely write it down and say this is definitely a potential but because of the, the demand I would then go and do further research on merchant words and Google keyword tool and many other different tools free and not free but most of them are free um, and I would just do my own general research to find out whether or not this product would be viable whether or not there's enough demand to sell this product so that is pretty much what Jungle Scout does it gives you an excellent first base to get started on to find products from there you can then go to Alibaba and source those products you can do further research so I personally have many more criteria that I have to tick other than just the sales the rank the price and the reviews in fact we take into account so much more in our course and just personally I take into account so much more so I take into account the demand the competition the profit potential the sourceability and there are bonus principles um, for example variations can it be labeled is there brand monopoly is there is it a want or need so we take into account so much more to ensure that this product is successful because Jungle Scout is amazing and Jungle Scout is great but we don't want great we want we want a hundred percent solid that we are going to find and sell a successful product we don't want to order a product from China get it to um, Amazon and find out that Jungle Scout gave us great results but we're not able to sell the product we want to be certain that we're going to sell this product successfully so that is pretty much Jungle Scout and I'm just going to tell you how much Jungle Scout costs um, now I just want to put it in there this isn't my program I didn't make Jungle Scout I am however just like pretty much every other person out there talking about Jungle Scout I am an affiliate of this program now I know what you're thinking so I'm an affiliate so obviously I'm gonna recommend this program but to be honest I only recommend this program if you are interested in selling on Amazon and you want to just get an idea to sell products so instead of talking to someone and saying oh you're gonna sell on Amazon and their response is oh what are you gonna sell and your mind just going completely blank if you want to have some sort of arsenal of products then I'm very for this product I'm very for Jungle Scout however if you're just going to use Jungle Scout and that's it then I'm I'm not so into that because I feel there are so many different boxes that also have to be ticked if you want a successful product you've got the web application which is this and this does cost this is a monthly fee as you can see is $49 a month is the middle one and 29 is the cheapest but remember what I said when you sign up for the Chrome extension you will get I don't know how many exactly but you'll get maybe 20 or 30 different searches so when you can put all the information in here and you'll get 30 maybe 30 different searches when you're finished it will say your trial has run out please buy and then you have to buy so I would say don't worry about buying don't worry about um, the web app I personally don't think it's worth it at the moment use up all your free trial searches if you then want to continue then maybe purchase the web app but we never started by purchasing the web app we just use the free trials the thing you want to purchase or the thing you want to be looking at is the Chrome extension pricing plan this is what I have you don't really need the pro I have the light just because it's cheaper it's it's better and like I said this isn't my program so I'm not trying to sell it on you and, and, and make two hundred dollars from you right I'm not getting this money I am an affiliate so I'm getting a very very small percentage but I don't care if you have got the hundred dollar one or the two hundred dollar one I personally think the $97 one will be much better suited to you just because that's pretty much all you need I have found tons of products on it and just on this video we have found two potential products so and that's just using the light version so I'm actually going to show you this person is the person who actually made this tool this is this is the owner Greg Mercer right he's the owner of this tool like I said I'm just I'm just an affiliate of this tool I'm just someone who's used this tool I really really like it um, I now use it every day to find products and like I said if you just if you just want an idea of what to sell then this is this is a great tool however if you want to take this business super seriously you want to start an Amazon business and you want to you want to take this serious you want to go far with this Amazon business I feel you're gonna need a lot more than just a Jungle Scout tool 
I honestly think you're going to need some sort of Amazon training. And this is going to be a bit of self-promotion, sorry in advance, but I really feel like you will benefit from taking our Amazon course. Now, the main difference between our Amazon course and other Amazon course is it's taught in the way that you have programmed your mind to learn. So most Amazon courses will dump all the information on you. It's super overwhelming. It's so scary. And to be honest, it's really hard to follow. We started by doing that. Our first Amazon course, we released the entire course at once. And we had students messaging us about how to get sales before they even found a product. It was just super confusing. And we just thought there's a much better way to do this. So we did a bit of research and we realized the way that schools do it, the way that universities do it, is they teach you step by step and they don't tell you what, like they don't release future modules for you. So imagine getting into, uh, going to school and sitting down and the entire curriculum is just thrown on you all at once on the first day. You're gonna be so overwhelmed and the chances are you're not actually gonna, you're not actually gonna do anything with it just because you're gonna be so overwhelmed. So with our, with our Amazon course, what we've done is we've done it like an actual school. So it's an eight week online program. You can join it any time. You can watch it at any speed. The only difference is from the day you join, every week a new module will be released to you. From when you join, that is when the modules will start being released. So from day one, you'll have module one. From week two, you'll have module two. Week three, you'll have module three and so on. And there are eight modules. And we're constantly adding modules as we go. And we're constantly adding information as we go. But the best part about this is in module two, that's when you learn all about how to find products. That's when you learn about Jungle Scout. That's when you learn about all the other criteria that we have to tick in order to find a successful product. But that's what module two is. Module three is about sourcing the product. So you see how we're splitting it up into steps that make sense rather than just giving you how to find a product, how to source the product, how to get sales, how to rank on Amazon. You don't need to know all that information. You, don't, you just don't need to know it. All you need to know right now is how to find a product. You need to make a list of products. Then you need to go and source that product. This has resulted in much more successful students doing it this way. We've had much better feedback and we've had much better results um, doing it like this, where we release a module every single week. So that's it for this video. I hope you like Jungle Scout. The link is in the description and then there's two links in the description, the Jungle Scout link and the link to our Amazon course. I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up. And if you did enjoy videos about Amazon, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe as I'm gonna be doing videos every single day regarding Amazon, regarding business, making money online, that sort of topic. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video.